Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 6, Isla Sorna Free Play for LEGO Jurassic World. Now I know you probably say Isla, 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 all different, so I just got them all out of the way, so woo to the who. Uh, as you can see, we have a free play requirement of completing the story, and we do have all 10 mini kits, the amber brick, a couple of gold bricks, and the true hero, or sorry, true survivor status, my bad. But uh, when you're all ready to go, go ahead and queue up the second movie from the main map area. Choose Aila Sorna, and let's go ahead and start this mission. To start things off, go ahead and select EN, and let's head to this smart board in the back. Follow the old pattern that is indicated on screen there. And once you get it correct, it'll actually open up the doors and drop a bunch of bricks and also present a calendar or a type of calendar that you've probably seen in every auto shop in history, huh? But uh, there's actually on the right side door there, it actually covered up a recycling bin. We'll come back to that in a little bit. But head on over to the paint sprayer here. We're going to have to go ahead and select blue and yellow. It doesn't matter which side gets the blue or the yellow, but it's important that they both mix together to make green. I'm sure you've seen those old Ziploc commercials. Yellow and blue make green. And he found that out the hard way as he sprays all over the place. This is uh, this must be some quick drying paint because I tell you what, he sprays down the truck and then jumps right in it like it's not wet. Anyhow, switch on over to a character with targeting ability. We happen to use Eddie Carr. We're going to shoot down both those targets and hop on one of these little wheels here. We're going to roll it on over to the left this time, though, as opposed to the right. And we're going to put it on the old tire changer rack there instead of putting it on the actual truck. So this allows us to spin the crank here that pops up. And uh, it actually spins this wheel around and around it goes until it pops up a mini kit. That's pretty nice. Thank you very much. And then we'll go ahead and make our way over to the far right corner uh, where those wheels belong. And make sure you bring the wheel with you, though. And it does take both of them. And it will require the one you just put over there on the left-hand side. Boing! You like that? I was full speed ahead. <laughs> a little out of control there. Bounced off the bumper. Just testing the rubber velocity. But, uh, yeah, like I said, you'll need both of these, so get them both wheeled in. These guys take over. They ruin the jack, and I don't know. Look, look at the wheel space here, too. The wheels look so much larger than the actual allowed space there. I don't know. Especially if that car had lowering springs. That wheel gap is just not going to cut it. <laughs> All right, so they drop it like it's hot, and it busts up in the jack. And, and uh, at this point, we realize we need to go in the back, and there's a vehicle that's all smashed up. So we're going to use Eddie Carr one more time and his big old wrench to go ahead and fix that back up. The guy gets all excited, and it cues this little cinematic scene where we actually, I don't know if we meet Nick Van Owen for the first time. I think it is. But he shows up anyways. He's like, hey, what's up, everybody? And uh, we'll go ahead and add him to our group. Now, it's kind of weird because it even goes through the whole... Uh, symbolism of showing us right here that uh, he's part of our group and we have three characters in our group now but I actively try to switch to him multiple times and I'm not able to do so and he does not follow along on the trip so I know in the story mode I'm pretty sure he does but in the free play he does not but now that you have access to him or I guess we've always had access to him but go ahead and switch on over to him and use his crowbar to pry open that door and give us access into the caged area here and then we're going to go ahead and use his bolt cutters in the back and snap it open. I think it was bolt cutters. It might have been another crowbar. I was dazing off into Legoland. But uh, there is a computer terminal that will require the help of a wrench. So we used Eddie Carr one more time. And it's going to go ahead and bring out these three boxes on a conveyor belt, all which have targets on them. I'm going to go ahead and shoot them all down. And uh, pew, pew, pew. And it drops a bunch of parts. The guy yells out, hey, man, don't you have any respect for safety? <laughs> And uh, we're not worried about safe, safety. I mean, it's a Lego game. Anyways, all right. So that's a pretty large motor for a uh, upsy downsy little. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That thing is huge. It's like a V12, something you'd see in like a I don't know, maybe even bigger than that. Something with big old dump truck. But uh, that gives us access to the upper level there, the old high hide. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but once I cue this button here, it takes an awful long time to get this thing to go up. Like, I, I've even got this video sped up, and, and look how long it's taking. It's like, hello, I pushed the button, yo. Eventually, it closes the door, and it might be user error. Maybe I'm not standing appropriately or something. Maybe I needed to roll my sleeves up, or I don't know. Maybe I need to check my socks. Who knows? 
regardless, though, once you get up to the top, there is a bolt cutter situation that you can use Nick Van Owen on. Go ahead and snap that lock and get inside for that mini kit. Right up above that mini kit, there's actually a shock panel on the wall there. So we're going to switch on over to Barry, and we'll blast that with our shock cannon. I'm a little confused as to what's going on here at first, but as it turns out, it actually has given us access to go up top there. You can see there's the agility ability circle in the back. So we're going to switch to a lovely lady who can get the hops up high. We're going to make our way up. We're going to play a little upsy downsies right here, too, because I was having problems with the controls. And uh, we'll keep on keeping on down the old pathway here. We get all the way to the end. We had to jump over one ledge, duck under another, and we were rewarded with a mini kit for doing that. So certainly worth the hassle. And then make your way back over to the old handhelds on the wall. And then we'll switch back over to Nick Van Owen real quick because we got another door to pry open. So... Once we get this door open, we're actually going to backtrack and go to that recycling bin behind that uh, smart board from earlier. So pry this door open, and let's go ahead and head back to the beginning if you didn't already smash and build up those bricks behind the cabinet. This is one of those ones that's like really tough if you don't know it's here because it's kind of hidden. I guess it's only hidden if you've opened the door, but that's part of the level. That's like the first thing you're supposed to do, so can't imagine most of you didn't have that open yet but anyhow my son Reese was going nuts he had searched this whole area like 50 times looking for another recycling bin and couldn't find it and luckily I came to the rescue with Doug's trophy achievement guide info and showed him where it was so all right the first one is over behind the cabinet the second one is in the caged area in the foreground here you can see it's still running around the third one is actually going to be in the far right side by the big old long green RV, whatever that is. It's like a communication center or something like that. I think that is what it's called, actually, because isn't the next one of the next levels called Comp Center? <laughs> All right. So we'll, uh, we'll ride the old high hide up again, and we'll make our way up and over and down the stairs. And I was actually on a little bit of a stud trail mission here doing the old figure eight. Oh, whoopsie. Grabbing the studs, and in the left corner on the left side of it, there is a blue recycling bin. Go ahead and smash it and build it down. Now, it is bones, too. I didn't mention you do need to use a character with the ability to build them bones, them damn skeleton bones. And uh, All right, so we went down the staircase. Now, you probably noticed that there's a charge panel there. If you didn't, though, switch on over to Barra and go ahead and charge that panel up. Once you charge the panel up, it's like this weird holographic teleporter system or something, and all of a sudden it starts bringing out these guys or spawning these guys in these, like, Godzilla costumes. Oh, no! It's Godzilla! And, uh, well, I, I tried to get up on these barrels, and I thought, oh, I'll get up here and I'll shoot these guys, but as it turns out, uh, not, not so much. And uh, I, I think the best policy here is just the old cha 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 cha. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess uh, like a heat ray or something would probably work pretty good too. But we just went with the old school Jackie Chan foot to face method. All right. Once you get all 10 of them, it does reward us with a mini kit. And if you're looking for some studage, make sure you hop behind the old comm center there and grab the bluesy. If you're ready to go ahead and move on, though, we'll go ahead and smash the brown boxes, build up the old bleacher stairs here that lead us up top, and then we'll repair the computer with somebody like Eddie Carr. Look at Barry running circles down there. Barry, what are you doing, buddy? He's just running around. And uh, All right, so once you get the computer fixed, it's actually access to the crane. We'll go ahead and use the crane to pick up the lid or the top of the comm center here, and we'll move it back over. Now, if you guys are in a hurry, keep in mind we do have quick links down below in the video description. We advise you to use them if you're looking for a specific mini kit, or maybe you want the amber brick that you didn't get in story mode. I don't know what it is you're after, but we made it easy for you to get there. So Once you start off in the next area, we're going to go ahead and cross this little river. And you're going to get attacked by a handful of compies. Such. I even came back over because apparently compies are not waterproof and they drowned or something. So they won't go in the deep water there. And I tried shooting them, but that didn't really do me much good either. Eddie Carr's gun is like a BB gun. I'm pretty sure it might even, it's not even a potato gun. Like, it's, it's interesting. It's pretty weak. But, uh, all right, so take out the compies, smash the bricks. And uh, actually, you're going to have to use Nick Van Owen and the crowbar to get access to the cave here. Once you get access to the cave, a couple more of those ankle biters come out and get, uh, they should be called chompies because they're chomping on your ankle, but that's beside the point. We go ahead and use Ian to get up top, and once you get up top, you actually have to smash these bricks on the left, build up the anvil, and this will 
create a weight on the tree limb and lower a branch that actually gives access with a rope. This is a pain. If you have not done that, your one of your characters will almost always run back down there, even if you somehow get both of them up top. So make sure you pull that rope down. We went ahead and switched to the old big head, Pac Paclia Horus. I don't know what it's called. I slaughtered the name on purpose because I'm terrible at saying the names. But uh, go ahead and break that open, get the mini kit inside, and then double back to this poo pile here. You guys may have gotten these in the story, but if not, get back to the poo pile. It's the first of three. And if you notice, we're actually doing mini kit seven and mini kit eight at the same time here. It's because there are three items that are basically placed right on top of each other along the trail here. So rather than backtrack after we get one, let's get them both. So take out a shooter, shoot the, the targets on the left, and uh, make sure you dive in the dino dung if you didn't do that too. So first stage of both of those accomplished. Make your way up the tree by hanging one of your characters on the rope. The other one can run up the bridge and make it up top. Kick down the ladder. Then make your way to the very back right side of the area. Now there are a handful of compies. And uh, as you can see, we did shoot and dive in both the Dino Dung and the Target there. So we got stage two for both of those. And I highly recommend you come over to the left-hand side over here and bust open this rock and build up the part so that no more chompies can get out. Stupid little chompies. They're done, at least for now. And then in the back left corner, or the right corner, sorry, there was another target up there. You're going to have to shoot that target down and then build the bricks up, which this is some sort of makeshift chopper. But uh, once it's free and clear, go ahead and slide on in there with a tracker character and track the old... I don't know if that's a backpack or what that is. I think it's a backpack. And it'll take us all the way over to some parts that we can build up and jump up onto a handheld. It actually requires both of the characters, but once both are up there, it will come falling down. And uh, I don't know why I'm always in control of a female right here, and I always jump right over that little ledge there, but... We're going to go ahead and keep on making our way down the path at one point. Two large dinosaurs will grace their presence across the screen here. As soon as that little cinematic scene happens, we're going to keep on down the path, and we're going to go and get the third and final poo pile. So get your diving dung dino buddy out, and booyakashow. Number seven is now officially ours, and all that's left is one more target for number eight, and then we will actually be uh, on to the next mini kit. I, I was going to say we're done with this area, but we're not. We have one more. So there's the third and final target and a eighth mini kit. But right over to the left-hand side, you might notice some diggy bits. So we'll go ahead and switch on over to Alan Grant, pull out our shovel, and get our dig on. Oh, and it reveals another tracking item. So we'll go ahead and pull out Eddie Carr again, track this item all the way down to some bouncing bricks, and all of a sudden, it's another mini kit. So one mini kit left, and as you might remember, we still have the amber brick to get as well so switch on over to nick van owen spam that button to rip that crowbar through that rock and uh, hop up top and take a couple pictures to cue us into the next little area here it's really just on the other side of the tree limb here but technically whoa uh, so yeah now that we're in this next area it's uh pretty easy to get the big dinosaur to smack the ground and destroy these three rocks that have the glowing amber on the side of them. But if you find yourself in any kind of trouble here, you could actually spawn one of the uh, knuckleheads, the the big heads, uh, I don't remember, the Pacquiao of Sora Horas, I don't know what they're called. I do it here in a second and I smash it, here we go right here, the Packy. And then, da 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 da, you can smash it. I believe, like, a little baby Stegosaurus might do the trick for you, too. But go ahead and smash all three of these, or coax the dino into smashing all three, and it will give you the amber brick. It is quite possible that you even got that in the story mode. Now, the tenth and final mini kit is actually right here in this area. It's actually going to be in the back left corner. And you might have noticed a big pile of white bones. Go ahead and smash those and build them up into a crank wheel. We'll go ahead and spin this wheel all the way around. And once you do, it actually brings up four ducks that will then start moving. It's kind of like reminiscent of your state fair or carnival or whatever. And uh, we're going to switch back to Eddie Carr because he's got a gun that shoots pretty fast. So I go out here thinking I'm like a sharpshooter. But as it turns out, you need to be fairly close to these in order to get them. 
and I start getting really frustrated because if you've been following along you probably remember in the story mode I couldn't actually advance the story parts because it wouldn't let me build the third and final log you got to climb into because the dino kept stomping me and here I am again I'm trying to shoot and he keeps stomping me this is my least favorite area of the game finally I get this genius idea to hop up on the crank wheel it's easy peasy once you do the tenth mini kit is ours all collectibles for this level have now been collected and we can go ahead and finish that out now for you guys I would hit save and quit or save and exit and get out of here and not deal with this I, I feel like this maybe could have used a little bit more polish I think the dinosaur should have been a little less aggressive with his attacks I mean I understand you kind of need him to do some of these things to advance but at the same time slow it down a little simmer down now so all right build up the second wood little alcove cubby whatever you want to call it and when he uh, smacks it with his tail go ahead and hop into the old camera spot cha ching and the last one is back in this corner pretty sure you have to run back here and have him knock it over it might just do it on its own I don't know either way build up the pieces or fail miserably trying for 10 minutes that's what's gonna happen here look I even take that's right I'm destroying your baby's binky because I am not happy with the disrespect you're showing me right now you big disrespectful dino look I even tried to lure him over here switch characters I mean I tried every method possible but it's like every method I tried he saw right through it all right I eventually get the final one built I climb inside to hide he comes over slaps his tail down on top that's like a high five but kind of a low five and then we'll move over take the final picture and head off into the final total so Isla Sorna free play complete boy it kind of sounded like a Ricola commercial for a second there didn't it a uh, little product placement there for you I promise you I got paid nothing for that uh, anyways we uh, speaking of getting paid we did find a whole bunch of studs in fact just enough to get the true survivor and maybe more we also got the 10 mini kits along our path here and we're gonna build up some sort of crazy dinosaur here I believe they refer to it as the old stegosaurus and uh, once we uh, yeah that's pretty awesome I don't maybe we didn't have the baby stegosaurus yet I was suggesting that in the anyways a couple of gold bricks added to us and uh, oh to the yeah that's gonna do it for Lego Jurassic World level 6 Isla Sorna free play where we grabbed all the collectibles and hopefully put a smile on your face whilst doing it Hey, if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions for us, we'd love to hear them. And uh, you're welcome to bring them over to our, any of our social networks. We are easily found at Facebook, Twitter. You can also comment down below. Uh, we also have Instagram, G+, Twitch, and HappyThumbsGaming.com, all which have adequate areas of you supplying information and messages uh, to us, even pictures. All right, all right, all right. So, you know, feel free to use any of those. Make sure you check out our trophy achievement guide that Doug has put together over at happythumbsgaming.com. We have quite a few of them, mostly for Lego games. But, uh, you know, hey, if you guys want to see some more of those or have some other requests you'd like to see on our website as well, hey, that's what these questions, comments, and suggestions are for. So, as for me, that's going to wrap it up and do it for now. As always, until next time. Isla, see ya!